how your thigh bones lift your pelvis. And this is kind of a gentle twist. You might also be tapping into how your lower back's feeling today. And as always, in your own practice, you are aware of your own sensitivity, your own healing, if you've got some going on in the body. And as we move through our flow, just see how much strength we've got today, whether you're going to keep it quite low and gentle, which is always an option, or whether you feel a bit stronger. And sometimes we just don't know that until we start moving. So hug the knees in, hold around the back of the knees. I take the knees apart and then just roll across your back a couple of times. See if you can relax around your hip flexors so you're using your arms to move your legs. And then lift your hands and feet into the air. And just take the hands and feet in towards the midline. So you kind of, tailbone goes one way, you get that sort of side stretch. And take your arms out and then go the other way. So bring the other arm in front. So you're just kind of starting to be aware of your centre line. Uh, being aware of the tailbone going from side to side. And we're just checking out all the little joints in the hands and the feet, waking the body up. And then hug the knees in, hook the ankles. Start to relax across the tummy, the pelvis, take a breath in. And then as you exhale, lift up through your pelvic floor so you find that banda, that sense of lifting and containing energy. And you're going to hold that as you start to move. Being mindful of your back, rocking and rolling forwards and backwards. And then coming up and over. So from here, tuck your toes under, have your knees apart, and just draw your hips back towards your heels. We're going to come into a side stretch here. So your hands come forward, and then both hands move towards the left side of the mat. Draw the hips back, maybe rest your head slightly and feel again that whole side stretch. Come back to centre as you inhale and then move over to the other side as you exhale. You can make this active or it can be a little bit passive. Release the back of your neck, relax your shoulder muscles. Sorry about the sniffling. So bring the hands in, untuck the toes, and then again, just take the tailbone from side to side, bending one elbow and then the other, seeing how strong you feel today, or maybe how today you're just going to take it easy. And again, when you're at home, literally, I wouldn't know. You could just sit and eat Easter eggs, and no one would know. <laughs> So to coming back into plank position, so draw one foot back, press through the heel, and then engage through the lower belly to lift the other foot back, press through both heels, zip up through the thighs, take the collarbones forward, and have that sense that you're drawing your upper arm in towards your body, and using your legs to lift you. Take a slow, deep breath here. As you breathe out, press out through the heel, lift up through the pelvic floor. Another slow, deep breath and then lower down. So bring the knees down first, untuck the toes, lower all the way down and then reach your arms forward. And if you want to, you can bring your arms over to one side for a moment, just relax your head down. And then bring your arms over to the other side and relax your head down. And we're gonna come into that serpentine cobra. So hands can come just in front of the shoulders or just behind. Just choose where gives you the most kind of range of motion with your shoulder, what feels better. And we're just going to roll one shoulder and then the other. And when you first start doing this, keep the legs, the back, and the glute muscles quite soft. So you're just feeling into your back, relaxing muscles, just seeing how it loose you feel today and how strong. And then start to activate the legs and engage the core muscles, and then roll the shoulders back and up. And we'll come down again, do that another couple of times. So your legs on the ground are the power force, and the upper body is just kind of floating up, so you don't have to lift very high. Roll back down. 
and then rolling up again. So you can roll one shoulder and then the other, or both together. To your body, do what you like. Slowly back down. Tuck the toes under, press up and back. We'll come through a kind of active child's pose here, just while we notice the weight down through the hands. Lean into the hands and then lift the hips up and back. So pedal out the legs if you like, find some comfort in your downward dog. And if you want to stretch the sides of the body again, we're going to bend both knees and just let the hips go from one side to the other. You can take the weight off your hands if you're feeling a little bit stronger, just to see how that feels. And then when you're ready, we'll come through super slow flow. So inhale forwards to the nascent, find that power. Exhale, lower down. You can lower strong or gentle. When you get there, light touch with the hands, strong legs, inhale, roll up. Exhale, back down. Bring the hands back a little bit. Push up and back. Take that child's pose if you like. Come straight into downward dog when you're ready. So we're going to do that two more times, inhaling, coming forward, exhaling, lifting as you lower. When you get that inhale, roll the heart forward, exhale, roll back. So if that was enough for you, choose this opportunity to rest, or you can come through one more, inhaling forward, dandasan, exhaling down. Inhaling from the ground to rise up. Exhale, rolling back. So from child's pose or downward dog, check back in with your breathing. Slow, deep breaths. Exhaling, letting go anything that's not serving you. And this time from downward dog, if you're there, you can lift one leg up as you breathe in. And slowly lower it down as you breathe out. Other leg, inhaling, lifting up, exhale, coming down. And then start to walk your feet up towards your hands. And when you get there, just turn your toes out slightly, bring your heels in, hold on to your elbows and let your head hang down. With each exhale, let the upper body shift towards the ground. And then relax your head. And then start to walk your feet back so they're underneath your hips. Soften through the knees. Really take the hands together and rise up nice and slowly. Coming towards the top of your mat. So if you feel dizzy, stay still. If you keep, feel okay, keep moving. Lift up, interlace the thumbs. And as you exhale, just soften down through the shoulders. And then inhale, lift up again through the thumbs. And then come over to one side. Inhale back to the center, over to the other side. So keep both knees soft, and then the next round, whatever side you're going to, let that knee bend and straighten out the other leg. Inhale to the center, exhale to the side. Good. Do that once more on each side, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, and then come back up. Release your hands, lift your arms up, lift your heels, and then circle your wrists a couple of times. Bring your hands all the way back behind you, and then root the heels to the ground, bring the hands to the lower back, roll the tailbone down, and start to straighten your legs. Press into your heels, keep the chin to the chest, come into a gentle backward bend. So just that sense of the heart lifting, and the elbows drawing back together. Go easy. Inhale up. Exhale, melt down, bend the knees and fold. Inhale for that halfway lift. You're going to exhale to take the left foot back. So it's completely up to you if you want to bring the knee down or you can stay lifted for a bit more strength. Completely your choice. As you inhale, take your arms up, interlace the thumbs. And then come over to the right side so you feel that whole left side expand. Inhale back to the center and then as you exhale take your hands to the ground. So bring your left hand out, right hand to the heart, just soften through the chest. We'll take three little twists here. 
Inhale, slowly take the arm out and up. Exhale, come back down. That once more. Inhale, slowly take the arm out and up. Exhale, down. Sorry, once more. The body likes threes. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. So if the back knee is down, lift it up. And then walk your hands to the long side of your mat. Take a breath here. Inhale, maybe lift up halfway. And then exhale, fold. Start to walk the hands around towards the left foot. And again, your choice here, if you want to bring that back knee down, go for it. Inhale, take the arms up. Interlace the fingers, soften the shoulders as you exhale, come over to the left, gently. Inhale, back to centre. Exhale, hands down. So right hand can come out, give yourself space, left hand to the heart. And then three little twists from here. So we inhale, unravel to open. Exhale, come back down. Inhale, unravel and open. Exhale down. Inhale, lift. Exhale down. And then coming through your flow. So you might step back to plank position. Or you might come back onto your knees. And then slowly lower your body down to the ground. As you're ready, inhale, your back bend. It might be gentle, low cobra. Exhale, gently back through child's pose, downward facing dog. So we're gonna do that flow slightly faster. And as you're ready, you're gonna lift up through the right leg just to see how it feels, breathing in. Slowly lower it back down. Inhale, left leg lifts up. Bend the knee, exhale, take the foot forward towards the front of the mat, or the back of the mat. <laughs> Inhale, take the arms up. Interlace the thumbs, come over to the right as you exhale, soften the back knee, let it be gentle. Inhale, back to the centre. Exhale, take the hands to the ground. So one twist this time, right hand down, left hand to heart. Unravel, take a big breath in, let your head naturally turn. And then as you exhale, take your hands back to the ground. Walk the hands round again to the right, long side of your mat. Turn the toes out, bring the heels in. And then as you exhale again, just bend the knees and fold, let go. And then when you're ready, pad the hands around to the right foot. Choose to bring the back knee down if you like. Otherwise, the arms come up as you breathe in. Interlace the thumbs as you exhale over to the right. Inhale back to centre. Exhale, hands come down. So right hand to heart. And then whenever you're ready, just one luxurious twist. Lift and 